please welcome to the screen Adele Gordon. Hello, hello everybody. Um, I've just got to say, Linda, I'm it, incredible that you can even get back in a car after that. That's amazing. Um, right, I'm with my story. Um, I've been a water baby since I was born, really. Um, I've always swum. I did my first swimming lessons at age four. I had all of my badges, all of my certificates by age seven. And I just always, always, always loved being in the water. I especially love being under the water. When you're underwater, it's this whole different world. You can pretend to be a mermaid, you can pretend to be a seal, you can pretend to be an astronaut, you can do whatever you want. And it was always my favorite, favorite place to be. I got to about eight and I was on holiday and I'm by the pool and I'm probably in the pool, swimming around, sitting on the bottom. And people from the local scuba school come over and they bring all their gear and it's a little try dive. So would anyone like to come and try the dive? And little eight year old me, oh, 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 please, 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 please. And they go, no, you're, you're too young. So, fine, carried on playing, carried on splashing around. Nobody else was interested. So eventually they come over to my parents and go, right, if she wants to have a go, she can. We'll just attach her to the gear and we'll push her around a bit and it'll be fine. So, so. Um, so I go up, get everything on. They push me around underwater. And for a kid who loves to swim underwater, to suddenly be able to breathe underwater is mind blowing. It was, it was amazing. I thought, right, I need to learn this. I want to do this. And that became a thing I wanted to do. From the age of eight, I wanted to be a scuba diver. And there's lots of times over the years where there was opportunities, but my parents couldn't afford it, or there was a reason I couldn't do it. And then eventually I went to university and the course I chose, marine biology, was partly because you could do a scuba diving module and you could do a scuba diving course as part of your uni course. And it was my own money and I went and I did it. And you have to do lots of theory, so lots of learning about scuba. You have to do lots of pool lessons where you get in the pool and you learn all the skills and you swim around in a swimming pool on the bottom. And then eventually you get to the first time you're allowed to go out into open water. Now we went to a quarry that the university owned, which is about half an hour away from the university, in March in the UK. It's cold, it's wet, it's grey. It didn't matter because I was so excited to be able to get in this water, even though in my head it is a black pool of just like, you're not sure what's under there and it's, uh, I can't stress how cold it was so we get to the um quarry you see this water in front of you and you know you're going to be underneath it in about 20 minutes and hearts going bellies going it was amazing so we got our wetsuits out now these wetsuits we'd never used them in the pool because the pool was warm you didn't need a wetsuit and these wetsuits are what are called farmer john wetsuits and they're basically a pair of dungarees I think you guys call them overalls um, that you pull and you get on um, and then uh, like a leotard goes over the top and these things are tight like tight skin tight you have to get each other into them you can't get into them on your own so you're getting each other in and I can tell you you cannot get into a wetsuit in a dignified manner so that got rid of quite a lot of the fear because you've got to get into these ridiculous things so we get into them get all my gear together um, and when you're a diver, when you're learning to dive, your gear is your responsibility. So you've got to check everything. You check your tank's got air in, you check your jacket inflates, you check your mouthpiece works and that you can breathe because if you don't, well, dive's going to be quite short. And you're getting that all together and that's keeping everything down. So getting all together, getting all together, getting all together. So got it all on, get it on your back, so heavy, so heavy. Get your weights on, even heavier. I'm only little and I've got all this stuff on my back. And we hobble over to the side of the quarry and you look down and you see your reflection and you don't recognize yourself because you've got a mask on, it's hairs all back, you've got a big mask on your face. The only bit of your face you can see is your mouth. You look like a seal just ready to dive in. And at that point it all becomes real because the water is there and I'm about to go under it and it's cold and it's dark and I can't see what's under there. So get to the side, 
and you're ready and it's like a mix of just abstract fear and absolute excitement stand on the edge like, right three hand on mask two hand across body one step and you step into the water and the bubbles explode everywhere and it's all you can see just bubbles bubbles was the coffin of bubbles everywhere and then you surface again and you're looking around and everyone's bobbing looking really excited you can see these wide eyes give each other an okay yep ready to go and then we're going down and so you let the air out and you start to descend now when you go underwater it goes silent it's like your ears have been switched off there's noise on the surface and suddenly you just go absolute silence and that is something that i fell in love with immediately this this like just silence underwater incredible so we descend 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 and a lot of the fear is gone now because you're underwater down 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 to about six or seven meters and we get hit the bottom look like of um silk comes up and you sit there and the, the instructor is very good they gave us a couple of minutes to just look around like <laughs> i'm underwater i'm underwater i'm breathing i'm underwater um and then we started to do our start to do our skills so you've got to take your mask off and put your mask back on cold did i mention it was cold um, and that cold just hits your face you do that you've got to take your regulator out the thing that's keeping you alive and throw it away and then you've got to get it back that's fun and we um i did all that the instructors say okay you're good and then we start to swim now when i'm diving and i've got the perfect hover and gravity doesn't affect me it's amazing there's no gravity it's like being in space it's like flying it's incredible and you go along and every time you breathe in you rise up a little bit you breathe out you rise down a little bit breathe in it's the most meditative experience i've ever had because you are literally at one with your breath just and there was nothing to see in this quarry there, there was a quarry there's just nothing there's rocks and mud and a bit of sea gray. It's nothing it's still the best dive i have ever done because you were i was flying and there was all these just particles in the water coming towards me and i was there arms out flying going through this like flying into a vortex and i flew and flew and flew and fell in love with this thing immediately and then the instructor sort of gathers us together and it's time to go up and i don't want to go up because i don't want to leave this place we've got to go up somewhere so we go we start, start to swim up and we hang at six meters because when it's coming towards the end of a dive you need to sort of have a little safety stop for a few little bit so we hang at six meters for about three minutes just looking around at this like little kingdom i'm gonna have to leave and then it gives us the okay and we start to go up and up 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 and it's like the reverse of going in head breaks and just noise you can hear the gulls, you can hear the cars, you can hear everybody around me just shouting, that was amazing, that was the best thing we've ever done. And the instructors calm us all down, get to the side, climb out, walk out, and just went, I am hooked. This is my life now. And that was my first dive. I'm now on 850. So. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, Adele. <laughs>